Hello, this is Klopla321, this tutorial is 026, and it's called hashing, not hacking. It's actually used kind of against, uh, a little bit against uh, hacking measures, uh, but it's not something really, really big. Uh, but it's more like in the case you do get hacked, things like passwords would not be able to be um, stolen so easily from the users. And so, if I go on and say that um well some hashing uh functions are called md5 and uh sha1 but uh also there's one that's just called hash where you have to put in the algorithm and then the uh string like md5 uh, or sha1 and so i'm just going to have this empty there for now and i'm going to run over to Chrome here, and uh, I already opened up PHP's nice website that has the uh, the parameters and instructions for hash. And what it does is it generates a hash value or a message digest, pretty much like if you eat the same thing, you're going to put out the same thing, but it's not going to be the same that you put in. So, um. So here's kind of how it works. You put in the algorithm, then the data, and the raw output is uh, is an optional value. So this person uses the ripe MD160 algorithm with um, this nice A to Z string here, and um, and that's and this is what comes out of it. Now. You can do you can hash a file, and the reason why you would ever do that is um, to you create a fingerprint of a file. Also, uh, there's other things, and it also mentions MD5 and SHA1 here because they're commonly used. And I have another tab here that has all the uh, names of the algorithms you can use. So you pretty much just copy this and uh, or this, and uh, here are the times and microseconds that it takes to calculate it. As you can see, MD5 is a lot shorter than SHA-1 um, by about two milliseconds, I think. But um, but if you're trying to use this MD2, which um, doesn't look like it's perfectly, um, well, it does. It looks like it will take a long time to compute if you're doing a bunch of stuff in terms of scaling your server to about thousands of users. So I would suggest you stay under this uh, this mark of uh, of around 11,000 or at um, because if you go any farther than that, you're going to start having issues with um, people having server slow down, and it does work a lot on your uh, server a lot. And you could thank this person right here for posting this list. Um, so uh, let's just try and take an example of going back to the tutorial and I'm going to comment these two out and I'm going to say MD5 of I ate the cat and I need to get rid of this other quote there I accidentally typed in and save it and I'm going to go back to Chrome and I'm going to refresh Oh. And I also need to echo this out, and then I can refresh it. And then I got this um, this string here that um, looks like nothing, but if I refresh, it's going to be the exact same thing. However, if I change and put this as dog, or dag, but dog, and um, put this down and then refresh this, it's totally different. The point is that your string is going to be always different for every input you give. Now, of course, you can have um, one thing that's short and put it in, and then have another thing that's long and really put it in. And MD5 will sometimes make duplicate signatures. Um, but you're going over a... Uh, I mean, this isn't like a paragraph long of a signature. It's just, um, see, I think it's 32 characters. I don't remember. Um, but it's still pretty short considering what um, happens there. So if I 
do the same thing with Shaw. Uh, one, it's longer, by the way. So I'm going to put in I ate the cat and save it. And I'm going to go back to Chrome and refresh. As you can see, it's longer. If I refresh again, it's the same. And if I went back and changed this to dog, um, refresh, it's it's different just like how the MD5 changed. Now, SHA-1 is longer than MD5, so it's harder to, uh, it's harder for people to uh, try to crack it. So, but let's try to show you what this hash um, thing is here. So I'm going to say echo there, and I'm going to check out this uh, this list here, and I'm going to put in MD5 just because um, we're already familiar with it, and I'm going to go and keep this in, and then I'm going to echo a BR for uh, break it, break return or whatever it means, and I'm going to show you. I need to copy this into here and they should be the same as you can, as you can see they are the same um, this MD5 here uh, uses the same algorithm as this function does it's just that this one kind of is a uh, you can choose which algorithm to use so let's try to use um, CRC32 and go back here and paste this in and I'm going to comment this out because we don't need any more. I've already proven my point on that. And I'm going to come back here and as you can see it looks like kind of a really really short thumbprint. You could probably it's um if you're uploading files it's great to use as a prefix for your file of the time so that you don't have duplicate files happening. So if I change this to cat and I refresh this. It's a different thing there. So, um, what if I just put one and save? And just a second here. And refresh. It's different, even though I put in only one character. If I go here and I put in nothing at all, and minimize it and come back here it's gonna be that of course but if I put in a space and put this down and refresh this well then as you can see having a space um, makes all the difference so if I put in um, a ba uh, double backslash or uh, the same thing as just single quote backslash and uh, in reality, this is only one backslash. It's just that since it's a special character, you have to do two of them to make it equal to one because it means to escape the next character. So if I do that and refresh, it's going to be this 28706CFC. It's it's a pretty short hash, um, even though it takes longer than MD5. So what's this... Uh, MD2. I really do not know, but I'm just going to try it in this tutorial to see what it looks like. And save that and go back here and refresh. It looks like it's about the same length as a SHA-1 or something. So, um, 